What the fuck is- Oh, oh dear. Ouch. That's a bra. Hi guys, Cranky Kaz here. And the Shapester. We're back with more Yakuza 4. We need to head over to Marimba in the Champion District to collect a loan. Otherwise, Hana-chan's going to be upset with us. We do not want to be getting on the wrong side of her, as we've seen. We do not. Um, oh, there's a guy with a blue marker over there, so we will just detour. Because they give us experience, don't they? I believe so. Overburdened man. Damn it, seriously? I swear, there are never any open lockers in this stupid place. Maybe once or twice a year if you're lucky. Do I need to get up earlier or something? Uh, they were once rented out by those who needed them, but all of their keys have been lost. Okay, well we knew that and we've already actually collected some stuff. Oh, ah. a locker key radar. Nice. You know, whenever I see a guy with a big green afro walk through this area, the next day all the lockers are in use. There's something going on here, I know it. Mm. That's Bob, isn't it? Yep. Go on, we Bob. Do we have any uh, keys that we haven't used? Yes. Uh, ooh, a few, yeah. A chunk of wood. Well, that was worth it. Uh, yeah, let's send that to the box. Our box is already full. Way of the Keymaster. You've got some ancient yeah. steel. Which I also don't care about. You might do if you're upgrading weapons or something like that in the future. Yeah. A gravity but converter. What the heck is that? I got through Yakuza 3 without doing any weapon modding. I feel like this way is going to be exactly the same. Uh, cool. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry, dude. <laughs> Actually pushed a guy over. Well done. Um, wasn't pink? there a quest? A side quest around here? That dude, I think, standing by himself, I think might be one of them. This dude? I think so. He's the one who's been spending loads in your club. I think. Taniguchi. Akiyama-san, I got all dressed up. Yes. Just like you said. You're serious, right? I just want to make sure. I mean, hmm. Yeah, it's not the best outfit combo. Yeah, I'm serious. Oh my gosh, what a dork. Alright, love. No need for that. It's very nice. I mean, it's not... Yeah, but still. You know. See, if two random girls on the street think your look is atrocious, how can you ever hope to charm a hostess? Hell, even a hundred million yen won't help you out like this. Man, there must be something you can do. A man's got to be particular about his appearance. I'll help you evolve from a caterpillar into a butterfly. But I don't have any money. Don't sweat it. Aw, oh, isn't he a sweetie? Loyal customer. Hello. That's very nice. Sleepy head. Hold that a sec, please. Excuse me, I'd like to purchase a complete ensemble, clothes and accessories, both. Certainly, sir. What kind of ensemble would you like today? Ooh. Well, what do you think? Uh. Oh, let's not make him wild American. No. <laughs> you can't go wrong with a chic suit. You can't. You just can't. And I've just realised we've left our fan on. Oh! One second. Okay, chic suit, let's do it. Chic suit's good. It's probably what I'd pick as well. Let's see, do you have any chic suits? We do have some new Italian suits and stuff. Very nice. I'll take one of those then. <laughs> that was quick. Do we even want to look at it first? No? Nope. Now, what accessories can I show you? <laughs> um... A vest? Why would we go with a vest? And a hat with a suit? I mean, yeah. The only way I can see him talking about a vest is if he means, okay, he's going to have the suit undone and then be wearing a vest underneath or something like that. But I, I don't see how that would work. I don't think any I'd of these got a hat. I'd pick the hats out of all of those, personally. Apologies if that's wrong. He's going to be in a freaking top hat now, isn't he? Do you have any sophisticated hats? Hmm... Among the elite, oh no. That's I'll not take what we had one in of mind. those. Well, I don't know what we had in mind, but it's probably not going to work, is it? Uh, will that be all? That's it. What do I owe you? 98,000 98, yen. It's been my pleasure. Of course it has, taking that much from us. Daylight robbery. Sorry if you guys could hear our fan in the background. Um, yeah. What can I say? We forgot. 
Oh fuck! The the hat was the cowboy one, wasn't it? Yeah, of course it was. Oh, well, never mind. Shit. Oh well. He just looks like a freaking idiot, doesn't he? Now time for a little practice. You idiot, Mickey's want of cookie. I guess I don't need to tell you that uh, to tell that to the guy who spent five million yen on her. She's not the kind of girl you can get simply by dressing the way she likes. You need to learn the right things to say to her. I don't know why I emphasised it like she likes. It's just she likes. But <laughs> anyway, now it's time for a crash course in talking to girls at this club. What? You're not going to bail on me, are you? It wouldn't be much of a crash course if I stuck around. I'll just give you some advice. Uh, listen to what she's saying. Mm -hmm. Fickleness, fickleness. Thy name is woman. I liked you a minute ago. They're always changing their minds. You have to figure out how they feel and respond properly. No comments. I see. What I'm trying to say is, it's more important to listen to them than it is for you to talk. By listening, you can sense her mood, which makes it easier for you to respond and run away if she's pissed. But that's normally a hostess's job to do just that. In any event, you'll get far with a hostess by getting on her good side. But whatever, you need the practice. Good luck. Go get him, Ty. Oh, we're sending him in with that hat. This is bad. No. Then what would the vest be all about? Maybe, like you said, it was just like a smart top underneath. Akiyama-san. I tried listening, just like you said, and it worked. Went really well. Excellent. I'm kind of surprised. Mm -hmm. Why don't you go see Mickey yeah. now? I can't. I have a date with a hostess from this club. Wow. I'm, I'm so, so over, over Mickey. Mickey. Would you mind telling her that for me? Oh, really? Oh, he's going to get dumped by this one and then come back to us, probably. Probably. You mean all this training was a waste of my time? Not at all, thanks to you. I'm a new man. I really appreciate your help. I'd like to give you this as a thank you. I won't be needing it anymore. You got a copy of Shiny Shine, Love Shine. Right. Good. What what is this? Bye then. Let's go. Not the ending I expected, but whatever. Trained him too well. <laughs> I want to see what the shiny shine thing is. Uh, was ten thousand experience points? Come on. Was ten thousand experience points the best you could get? I can't remember. I feel like five thousand is pretty good. I feels like but... it's pretty good, but like guys, what's the? Is it like a thousand? 5,000, 10,000, or does it just depend on what quest you're doing? Um, let's get that. Fair enough. Uh, oh, let's check the shiny shine. What is the shiny shine thing? Uh, Not that. Ah, the locker key radar is actually in your inventory. It Fair is. Enough. Where's the shiny shine? I need to go to is a pawn shop. Is it key item? Maybe. Do we have key items in this game? Uh, something else? Valuables? Aha. Aha. Mm. Shiny Shine, Love Shine. An anime that's popular with young girls and older men, strangely enough. May give you some designs for weapons. Okay. Cool. Aye. Anyway. Oh, we've ended up nearer to uh, the Champion District, which is great. That's because that's where we're heading. That is very convenient. Let's go there now. Avoid those guys because they look like trouble. Hello. You look like. Uh, uh okay. Yep. Fair that, enough. That's a man. Yeah. Fair uh, enough. Is there anything wrong with? Oh, that makes sense because we're possibly near. Um, uh, not Shalak, the other one. Earth with Angel. Earth Angel. Yes. Hey, look at me remembering something. Yeah, I've been watching stuff. I've been watching uh, too much Yakuza, played by you. I'm sure. Is this the place? Marimba. That looks a bit run down. Hmm. It's locked. Hmm. Anybody home? It's Akiyama from Sky Finance. No response. Kick the door down. Just realised my headphones have been dangling over Squishy's head. Guess I'll just have to come back later. 
Hmm. Huh? Drama Queen. This is the place Lily said she used to work. Interesting. Hey, cutie. You into that sort of thing? Sorry. You were taking a mighty long look at Drama Queen there. So what if I was? <laughs> oh, you naughty boy. You know that's an Akama bar, right? Heh, what am I saying? Of course you do. An Akama bar? Are you serious? Mm-hmm. And you looked awfully interested. Just saying. Don't worry, though. I'm not judging. Oh, it's not like that. It's just... I know this girl who used to work here is all. Sure you do. I'm in denial here too, honey. <laughs> <laughs> the manager here is totally my type, but he's straight as an arrow. Says he only dates real girls. Sorry to hear that. Not the most open-minded guy in the world, huh? Nope. But hey, forget him. Come have a drink over where I work. I'll give you a stiff one on the house. I bet you I bet will. You will. <laughs> Sorry, but I'm going to have to take a rain check. Things to do, places to be. You know, maybe some other time, okay? Anything you say, <laughs> hot stuff, I'll be waiting. Ah, uh, you're in there. Mm. Why would Lily lie about working there? Maybe I should head inside. Okay. Oh, so it's just open. You're just going to enter the private room, okay? Apparently, yeah. What's here, though? What the? <gasps> oh, oh, oh dear. A dead queen. Okay. He's dead and he looks like he's been dead for some time. It does, doesn't it? Jesus. Who wants to take out a... I mean, assuming he's a queen. He might just be the manager. Must have been like this for a few days now by the smell of it. Ooh. Jesus. Ooh. Okay. And Light there's those... Ah, oh, there's the lighters there. Has Lily got something to do with this? The Shibata family crest. I guess that means the owner was in cahoots with the Shibata. So did they do something? Oh, it reeks in here. He's probably been rotting for a while now. Let's get out of here. Yeah, let's, yeah get out of here and you know something's going to happen. Why does oh. it feel like I'm missing something? The lighters. Look at the damn lighters. Oh, that's a lot of blood. No, it's the lighters. Yeah. They probably hand them out to customers in the hopes that other people will see it. Viral marketing or whatever. Mm. Lily had one. So did she take one? Could did she have something to do with that? That's probably all I'm going to find. Yeah, I'm worried that she did. Why do I get the feeling the police are going to be there? Drama Queen's manager is dead, murdered, and a few days ago by the looks of it. He was practically naked too. Just like how Kido-chan found old man Kanemura. Ah. Was it the same killer and Kido thought it was maybe a woman as well? Hmm. Maybe someone from the Shibata family? You okay, sweetie? You look like you just saw a ghost. <laughs> you don't sound okay. Why don't you come relax over at my bar? I appreciate the offer, but I've got places to be. Sorry. Oh, you're no fun. Okay. Back to the office then. Uh, yes, it will. Need to get back to Sky Finance. That sounds get out like there a now. really good idea. How about that? You're going to have a chase scene when the police are after you again. Which? Oh, I'm going the wrong way. There you go. What's with this music? I don't know. Very strange. Trump to have fun with this. He's gonna come after you. Leave me alone! Ain't you the bastard who gave my lady the shakedown? No. Oh, uh, was he one of the it might have been one of the girls you talked to in uh, the quest. Which quest? You know, the one where you were showing the um the scouts, the ropes. Do you remember? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it helps to give context. Yes, that one. <laughs> nice. Oh, oh, nice. I'll do. 
<laughs> now you're attacking the scenery. Yeah. Oh, he's got a sword. <laughs> I do love the fighting in this. Oh! Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> that went well. Right. Oh, get the sword. Heat action. Oh! Oh. Okay. Oh, ow. Okay. Ow. That lost all my heat. You'd expect a sword to do more damage in your... Well, I was going to say your fists, fist, but obviously but you're his feet. Yeah. Please forgive me. I lied about you and my girl. And I'm okay. no Yakuza either. Maybe not then. Yeah, I don't Although think... You did come along and uh, sort of, you know, I not shake down a girl, but you did scout a girl, didn't you? I did, yeah. Thing, so. I think we're going to get rid of the boxy garbage yeah. as much as I enjoy it being there. Right. Great. Onward. Oh, there's a question mark there. Should we go do that? Go for it. It's on the way, so you might... Oh, hello. Come on, then. <sighs> These people never learn, do they? No. <laughs> well, that sorted you out, didn't it? Anyone else? You. Oh, he all right. He looks like, watch his face. Uh, Yuya. From a distance. Same suit. Yeah. Aww. Did you want to kick his face or something like that? Come on. Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to do different heat actions, yeah. but it's not. Oh, fuck. Well, that didn't work either, did it? <laughs> God. God damn it. <laughs> uh. Fine. Nice. There we go. The guy's now scared of you. <laughs> As if you wouldn't see that coming. Right. <laughs> yeah, I was being a bit useless there, but I was trying out a few different heat actions. Yeah, fair enough. Forget it, you can keep the toll. More healing stuff, that's always uh, good. This is going to get annoying. Um... I wish I could use an item from here. Yeah, do you need the spring? Probably no. Not. And what I'll do, I will use an item now. Do you really need to? Well, You've got no. more garbage you can get rid of. Oh, true. I could discard that, couldn't I? Yeah, maybe you're not meant to pick up that sort of shit. Right. Or maybe it's got a use for later. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there's your side quest, I think. Ah. Huh. Hello, Akiyama-san. Yo. Thought I'd drop in and check on the club. How are things? Remarkably well, given the state of the economy. Really? That's good to hear. But, but what? It's Mickey. What about her? Maybe you'd better ask her yourself. Oh, this is a follow-up to that quest, I think. Mm, She's maybe. probably a bit gutted about losing that client. Sir, the manager said something was up. Everything okay? Oh, I don't know. What is it? You can tell me. You probably didn't know this, but up until recently I had a regular named Taniguchi. Yep. He was kind of a nerdy creep, but he wound up spending a lot of money on me. Five million yen. Do so you know about him? Yep. No, oh, not no, really. No, not really. <laughs> anyway, what about this Taniguchi guy? Well, he suddenly stopped coming to the club. He never struck me as particularly wealthy, so I just figured he finally ran out of money. And now that Taniguchi's not coming around anymore, you're too devastated to concentrate on work, is that it? Absolutely not. I wouldn't shed any tears over one or two fewer nerdy types in here, trust me. But... So what is it? I just saw that dorky Taniguchi walking around looking like he owns the place. It's like he's had a major makeover. Uh, yeah. 
And what's worse, he had another hostess on his arm. We've made her jealous. Yep. He didn't run out of money after all. He changed his image, made himself all cool, then dropped me for some other girl. Surely losing one customer doesn't bother you this much. It's a matter of pride. Oh, okay. It's as though somebody told me I was a good match for only the nerdiest customers. I've lost all faith in myself. <laughs> now that I think about it, a lot of my customers are kind of weird. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> fewer and fewer customers ask for me by name. Maybe it's time I leave this job behind. So we're going to have to persuade her to uh, stay somehow. Yeah. I, I have an idea. Why don't I give you a refresher course in hostessing? Help you boost your confidence. After all, I'm the one who got you into this mess. Oh, uh, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> From what I've seen, you have no problem entertaining customers in the club. Then what am I missing? Are you getting dates after work? No, not really. There you go. What you need are dates. Consider them insurance. Your backup plan. You think so? You bet. Dates are different, it's just you and your customer, one on one. How a hostess acts and the impression she makes at one of these special events have a big effect on her customer. How about I give you some tips on how to make a customer fall head over heels for you? Yes please. Excellent, come with me. <laughs> Is he going to take her out on a date? Yes, sir. Looks like it. Yep. Right this way please. First, let's go over the basics of how to interact with a customer. How do how you interact with a customer? You're asking the wrong person here. Um. Hmm. Mm, do you be professional or do you be more open because you're... I suppose if you're more open about it, it might encourage them to then come back more. Yeah, Because they know you a bit better, maybe. Yeah. Mm. Open and honest. That's right. Why do you think guys ask hostesses out on dates anyway? Say they want to get to know us better. They want to get closer to you. That's why you should be a little more open on a date. You see, that strikes me as like a little bit like blurring the lines between a job and... Mm. Like, it could be dangerous for a girl. But it could be. He'll think he's the only one who gets to see you who you really are, which he'll figure makes him somebody pretty special. <laughs> And then he'll come, keep coming back, blah, blah, blah. Slash, essentially. stalk you, maybe. Yeah, it could go too far, of course. Basically, interacting with the customer differently will make him see your date as more than just business. It'll be something personal. Right. So, what'll it be? Not so fast. There's a little trick when it comes to ordering too. There is. Of course. Uh, oh, ask for his. Well, you can make this decision. I'm not sticking my foot in it. <laughs> Why would you ask for his, though, if you don't know it? Or maybe it shows you know him? Maybe. Ask for his. I don't know. When you see him at the club, get him to tell you it and then make sure you remember. Yeah. Mm. So you're paying attention like you give a shit. Yeah, then when you're on a date, say, oh, your favourite is such and such. That'll make him think, gee, Mickey bothered to remember my favourite. The real key here is to add, I like that too. Why is that? Because then you bond. It's kind of manipulation, all of this, but mm. okay. <laughs> what if his favourite happens to be something I hate? I can be a very picky person. You're a professional, grin and bear it. <laughs> Do I have to? Yes, you do. Not sure, how, so. not sure far, how far that extends, but uh, I don't want to know, really. <laughs> <laughs> this looks amazing. Not so fast, there's another technique that comes into play. Is there really? Tell me about it. Hmm. The thing to remember when eating is... Um, oh. Hmm. What do you think? Gonna make you pick this one. Oh, I just feel like I'm gonna pick wrong here. Depends whether there's a right one. I don't know. I feel like maybe domestic. You're thinking domestic. I was. Oh, I didn't. I was leaning towards image. Maintain image. Let's say that. It's pretty wrong. Yeah, 
You have to eat with elegance and grace. Hmm? Ruin that image. And he's in for... I, I guess whatever you say, he's going to say it well, though. Yeah, I guess. You're at your most vulnerable while eating, making meals particularly dangerous. Hmm? If that's true, there's not much point in eating together, is there? I mean, it doesn't exactly flow with what you said before about projecting a sense of intimacy. You sure are sharp. Well done. No, the real key here is... So oh, we got it wrong. We got it wrong. When dining with a date, you have to maintain proper etiquette while at the same time creating a domestic atmosphere. That's right. A hostess is typically seen as the polar opposite of a domestic type. Okay. So we want to be homely and uh, welcoming. Homey aura. <laughs> a hostess who might seem a little distant at the club comes across her date as friendlier, more, more accessible. accessible. It's like you said before, you have to project a sense of intimacy. Bingo. So how do I do that? <laughs> Let's see. Do you know nothing, woman? Uses seasonal ingredients, for example. Point that out to your date. Or if a meal is nicely presented, say you'd like to try making it yourself one day. You'd be hard-pressed to find a guy who doesn't love that. Okay. When your date says something's tasty or what have you, say something along the lines of, oh, I'll keep that in mind. It's almost like saying, I'll make that for you sometime, right? Yep. Just the promise of your cooking, though. You don't actually have to go through with it. You only need to hint at the possibility. Right. This has been very educational. Thanks for a great meal, chef. We'll take the bill now. Now, there's one more thing I'd like you to remember when it comes to paying the bill. The trick about paying the bill is... Take out your wallet like you're going to pay, and then he'll offer to pay. Basically. <laughs> you know this from experience, don't you? <laughs> Sitting right here. I may have done that a few times. Uh, but no, I do intend to pay. And then if they want to go Dutch, that's totally fine. That's cool. They? Who else are you going out on dates with? <laughs> I mean, like, back in the day when I was, like, dating all of, like, one other person before <laughs> you. <laughs> when dinner's over and the bill arrives, always take out your wallet and act like you're going to pay. <laughs> You want me to put on an act? No, it's just polite, isn't it? You go, uh, oh, oh, you want to get it for me? Lovely, great, that's nice. It's a gentlemanly thing to do. Mm -hmm. And I'm all for feminism, but I quite like that. That's right, you're just pretending. See, I would be prepared to go Dutch. Seeing you prepared to pay like that transforms the evening from a customer hostess interaction to a much more private, intimate meal. Your date will feel an even closer bond between the two of you. Plus, he'll be impressed by your manners. Your date will insist you don't have to pay, of course, at which point you thank him and put your wallet away. <laughs> this way you're both satisfied and he keeps his pride intact. Got it. Dates provide another setting for building a relationship formed at the club. Make the most of the situation of meeting outside the club and you can project a sense of intimacy you can't create at work. Your customer will feel close to you and he'll come to like you more and more. I'll give it a try. I've got my confidence back, thanks to you. I'm happy to hear Smashing. that. I think I'll send that Taniguchi a message. What, right now? Uh-huh. <laughs> I've got to get that newly hatched hunk away from that other hostess. Uh, well, I won't try to stop you. I wonder how this is going to play out. Yeah. Oh. Oh, he's back to that. Mickey, it's been so long. Didn't you get a huge makeover? You heard about that? I guess Akiyama-san must have told you, yeah? No, no, Mickey saw you walking around with your new look and another hostess. Oh, right, well, I did have more girls coming after me once I changed my image, but we never lasted longer than a date or two. I felt like I wasn't myself, like I was living a lie. I guess even the best makeover in the world is really only skin deep. I eventually came to accept that this is the best style for me after all. <laughs> That's when I got your message, Mickey, and now here I am. Oh, and she's fake as fuck, isn't she? Yep. I'm so sorry. You must have really missed me, but I won't stray again. See you at the club. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 5,000 experience points. Right. Now we need to go back to Sky, Sky Finance. Finance. Blue thing. Oh, you just yep. run past it. Wise homeless man. Oh ho, you there. 
Interested in knowing more about the Camera Show Underground? Yes, yes I am. Yes, which we came across earlier on in the yeah. story. Most normal people know about the parking lots and the underground malls. That's common knowledge. Okay. What else is down there? The big league players know the whole deal, from the sewers to the underground railway. There are tons of places we still haven't discovered. There's also a rumour that some homeless people have made the underground their new home. Perhaps you'll discover the truth behind these rumours as you explore the underground. Interesting. Ooh. Interesting. Ah, perfect. And here we are. That's where we need to be. Let's head back to Sky Finance. How are we doing for time? 33 minutes. Cool, let's carry on. Clock. Let's uh, get to it. Who's be there? <gasps> uh, what? Is she okay? Please be okay. She's oh dear, she's been. <gasps> she's she's alive. Who's beating our Hanachan? Shibata. Is it Shibata? Is he involved in this? What's he looking at that for? What's that? Don't trust him. Unless he was also gone and he just went after them. Mm. He's acting weird. I don't know if he's going to be able to do it. He's doing something weird.社長、いつも寄り道して遊んでるのを邪魔されるのが嫌で、携帯の電源切ってるんですよ。おかげで仕事が片付かない、片付かない。お客さんって感じじゃないな。また降りない人。Again. <笑> Are these the guys from before that she kicked out? Yeah, looks like it then. Uh... Oh! That's pretty fucking cold. That is very cold. Sorry, Chief. I tried to stop them. But... No, I should have been here to protect you. I'm the one who should apologise. And we should apologise to Kido, or whatever his name is, because mm -hmm. he didn't have anything to do with that. Yep. Was it those Shibata goons again? No, it was some guy named Midori... Midori Kawa. Mid... Midori Kawa? Yeah, Midori Kawa from the Hatsushiba clan. Yeah. Hatsushiba clan. Have we come across them yet? I don't think so. But it's highlighted in red, so it's uh, important. He said something the about their boss and Shibata being really tight. <clears throat> the guy really knew how to run his mouth. He kept telling me stuff I didn't even ask about. Sounds like the Hatsushiba clan was helping the Shibata family track down Kido-san. Oh, no. Because he's looking for Arai. Mm -hmm. On our request. Yep. They're after Kido-chan? Where is he, anyway? That's just it. He was here when this showed up. Um, Midori Kawa's guys jumped him. Then they hauled him off to who knows where. They took Kido Chan? He didn't stand a chance. He was completely outnumbered. Um, Chief? Sorry, just thinking about something. So they took Kido Chan. The question is why? No idea. Oh, that Midori Kawa guy also stole our client registry. Oh, great. It sounded like that's what brought them here in the first place. He said he was just borrowing it, but I seriously doubt he'll be bringing it back anytime soon. Hmm. So why does he want the info on our clients? That's what I want to know. What would they want with that? Who knows? I'm more worried about Kido-san. I'm more worried about this thing in my eye. 
Oh. <laughs> Sounds like I need to pay those Hatsushiba goons a little visit. Collect on what they borrowed. Yeah. Yeah. Go get them, chief. Just don't do anything crazy, okay? I'm not going to leave you like this, Hannah-chan. And where the hell are the cops? Didn't anyone see those bastards busted? Don't worry about me. I already called for an ambulance. Oh, she's a doll, isn't she? Yeah. You really are on top of everything, aren't you? Well, sit tight. I'm going to go get Kino-chan and that red shoe back. You got it, chief. Bless her. Chase Midori Cow. Yeah, go on, beat the crap out of him. Better start looking for leads on him. Oh! oh! That rings the bell. That's not Mac, is it? No, it's not Mac. It's, um. Oh! It's the, the fighting guy from, like, is it Kiwami or Kiwami 2? Do you remember the guy? The uh, Coliseum guy who trained Kiryu? Oh, oh, it's that guy. that guy. Man, oh man, the perfect. Perfect shot so close. Oh, is it? Or is it Mac? It's the perfect shot. It's Mac. Mac. Ignore me. <laughs> Maybe it's the same voice actor. You there. Did you see those tough dudes flashing their muscles like it's nobody's business? Nothing quite as dangerous as a thug with something to prove. But hey, that's what Kamurocho is all about. Have we met Mac in Yakuza 4 yet? No, this is we the first time. We can't have done because he's called the Energetic Foreigner. Yep. Uh, the glitz, the glamour, the gigantic guy shaking down passers-by. Not that I like that last part. Tough dudes. Maybe he's talking about Midori Kawa. Talk to him. Hold on there, buddy. I think we can talk. Sorry for flagging you down like that. Mind if we chat for a few? Of course not. I love talking to washed-up porn stars. <laughs> I'm Mac, photographer by trade, observer of humanity at heart, and I mean all of humanity. <laughs> right. Sorry to break it to you, but I'm actually a money lender. I was hoping you'd be able to fill me in on those tough dudes you were talking about. Yes. Sure thing, Slim. It is the same guy. Is it? Guys, remind me what that other guy's called. You know who I mean. The one who trained Kiryu in the Coliseum. Sure thing, Slick. These scary-looking dudes were fi uh, filing down the street one after the other, like the world's least cheerful conga line. Wasn't sure what was happening, but I knew something mega was about to hit. I was practically quaking in my sensible boots. There's a shiny in the corner. Oh, well, there you go. Back up a second. You mentioned something about a shot, too. Do you take pictures of this kind of stuff? These aren't any old pictures. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, she's squishy. Okay. Look at me running my mouth like it's in a dang marathon. Akiyama-san. Have you ever seen a sight so incredible that made you realise something about the nature of the world? Not that I can remember. Revelations. We've got them in Yakuza 4 as well. Yep. Oh, darling. Oh, dear. That's definitely never happened to me before. Maybe it's about time it does. And what's more, these revelations hold the key to the perfect shot. I'm sure of it. Yeah, sure. I'll keep that in mind. Anyway, what about those tough dudes? Yeah. Hold up, the greatest idea just snapped across my neurons. Maybe you can help me try try to find the perfect shot. I mean, sure, but I'd really rather just hear about... Then it's settled. <laughs> okay, fine. I'm just going to have to put up with this nut job for now. Don't look now, but I just caught a glimpse of something good. Train your eyes on that roof over there. Okay, good. Something's up with that lady and you're going to snap a shot of it. Whip it out, your phone, <laughs> I mean, and etch that moment into digital divinity. Don't worry, the government probably won't see your photos later. Alright. You can learn new techniques and revelations gained by witnessing particularly inspiring events around the city. Press R3. Okay. First Akiyama will take out his phone and then press the buttons on the screen. Same as last time then. Yep. Yeah. Okay, cool. Right. First of all, I want that shiny. Uh, this one. Because I'll probably forget to come up here otherwise. Yep. Nice. Right. What's this woman doing? Let's find out. Look. Oh, no. Try again. Horrible. Well, then. Um, what the actual fuck? Be ready with your button prompts. I am. 
What the fuck is he doing? What the fuck is- Oh dear. Ouch. That's a bra. He's stealing her underwear and like he's like made a little backpack of all the underwear. Oh dear. <laughs> I love these games. <laughs> Crunch. Crunch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> of course. Um. Those leaps and bounds? Yeah, go for it. Is that good? Do we think we got it? Well, if it's the same thing where you get yeah. like the equivalent of the... <laughs> yes. So he's going to use the wall, I'm guessing. If you're near a wall, he's going to... Maybe, yeah. Is this the kind of mail you want? Man, there really are some perverted freaks in Camarocho, but I was able to unlock a new technique from his movements. They were almost a work of art. It's a revelation. <laughs> Essence of triple strike. Nice. Yeah. I think I'm ready to let my photographic prodigy out in the wild. There, there, big guy. I'll text you whenever I find a new shot, okay? It'd be like I never left. <laughs> think you can tell me about those guys? Yeah, they've left the town already. <laughs> Saw them clamber down the stairs and out onto Tenkaichi Street, but I lost them right after that. Got it. That's not much of a lead, but at least it's something. Thanks for the info. You got it. <laughs> May your humble camera lead you to unforgettable discoveries. I need to find Kido Chan in our client registry, but I have no idea where that Midori Kawa guy went. Better start asking around. Okay, first, we're going to go back in here, because the squish is kicking off. Oh, bollocks. Oh, no, we have to go to a phone box then. Ugh. Right, what do we, how do I check that, that mail? Uh, in the menu and go to email. Is it an email? Okay. so. You know what, I'll leave that email, because it's probably just Mac. Oh, sausage, it's fine. I just need to get the, to a uh, save point. Where's the nearest save point? Uh, oh, no, yeah. there's one up, yep. Go that way. Right, we're gonna go run to a save point. And I think we're gonna call it a night because the squish is super hungry. I'm gonna go across to this one. Hey, Funnily enough, it's, it's okay, the one we started at tonight. It's okay, sausage. Oh, he's gonna want to fight us. I don't want to fight you right now. Okay guys, I've no idea how I'm going to edit this ending outro because the squish just went nuts right at the end there. Um, but I think we're going to pause there because he's uh, not too happy. So uh, we'll see you in the next episode where we go and uh, get this client list and Kido back from Midori Kawa. Still can't say that name. Bye. See ya. <laughs>